here we are. Starting the Steam stream strong uh, with the Sonoy exhibition match <laughs> that's become a ritual here on the stream. We're playing random color, medium timer, defended pawn against Sonoy. This is unrated. Uh, and this is gonna be our warm-up for the day, so let's get this shit started. GLHF, Sonoy. I'll catch you on the other side. Uh, what do I... I don't remember what I open here. Uh, I think I open C4. I think I open C4. I don't necessarily have, like, a set... Uh... I don't necessarily have a set... Yeah, why not? Takes, takes, and then... Takes... Uh, are we worried about that? Is there, like, a situation where... The, the only issue with trading off like this is that one side can sometimes go back in time. Uh, no, I don't really care. Um, I guess I'll do one of these. I don't know. Do I want to? Why not? Let's do one of these. This way it's really difficult for him to push this pawn to Frappuccino as bishop, right? Um... Sort of ties this bishop down. Also, this knight on the rim. I wonder what the idea is here. Uh, this is really interesting knight placement. I mean, it, it defends f7. <laughs> yeah, two defenders of f7, so there's that. Uh, but, you know, sort of like out of place. Um, I really like... I Again, I haven't... I actually haven't played too much defended pawn, funnily enough. Uh, even though we're at the end of the, the league season here. But um, what Ryan suggested... Uh, has really sort of been working for me in terms of getting these two knights out here and then frappuccinoing this bishop. Um, I really like that structure. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Um, Five-star chess, what a great decision to call it like that. <laughs> but, hell yeah, dude. It's, this is five-star chess right here. This is legit. Um, this is legit. Okay, let's just develop... Uh, Let's just develop these knights. Other thing that we can do is if we do this, uh, then it kind of... What's the idea of this? Uh, maybe he's trying to get to F7? Sorry, F2 with this queen or some such? Some, something wonky like that? It's singly defended right now. Um, uh, this is... An interesting idea to prevent this, like, Bishop Frappuccino from being a thing, because then he'll undefend this here. Uh, but let's just... Let's just do one of these and then see see where the day takes us. Knight f3, never a bad move. Uh, <laughs> don't quote me on that. Can't stay to watch today, uh, but wanted to pop in to say hi. Wish you good luck in tournament games, challenges. Also, make sure my streak doesn't end so I can actually afford my challenge eventually. Uh, well, welcome, Gordian. Uh, sorry you can't hang around, David, but i um, really glad you decided to pop in to say hi. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. 250cc chess. Uh, you need him to take you, right? If you want the trade. Uh, if you're talking about the queen trade, yeah. Uh, you, you, you need him to take... Is that true? Not necessarily, you just need the queens off the board. If we're talking about the same thing, okay. An homage to the straight jacket opening again, possibly? This bishop? <laughs> this bishop is now having sad times? I wonder what the idea is behind this. I wonder what the idea is behind this pawn push. I'm really not sure. I mean, it opens up this queen to get over here. That's certainly a thing. Maybe we just develop this knight uh, and then see where we can go from there. Um, the nice thing about this move is, especially with the knight f3 already being played, yes, developing this knight undefends the f2 pawn, uh, after which the variant is named. Um, but ultimately, it doesn't matter because your opponent can't take advantage of it because you've blocked off all of the lines to get to f2 to have a travel like that uh, happen. Um, you no, know, but if you're talking about the, if you're talking about the, um, like, trade the queens off and then go back in time to capture the opponent's queen and then be a queen up, uh, you don't, you only need the queens off the board. You don't need him to take your queen, uh, or like the other way around, uh, because the important thing is just that the queen trades happen, there are no queens, and then you can go back in time uh, to a point where both of you still have queens and take your opponent's queen off the board so you have the only queen in the game. Um, 
So now, what do we want to do here? Opponent's just developing pieces. We've grabbed a lot of space in the center. I wonder if we can capitalize. I kind of want to... Normally here, I think that I would Frappuccino this bishop. However, I'm not really too worried about it. Frappuccino this bishop and then castle seems good, but uh, like this f diagonal is kind of... This diagonal is kind of closed up anyway with the, like I don't need to worry too much about it maybe we get our queen into the game here toward the king side and then see where the see where the game takes us I guess um may, maybe maybe even like a queen out here I don't really know um I don't really know what to do here um Continuing his bishop and then setting up for like pushing these pawns with these rooks centralized also seems like a good um, also seems like a good idea. Uh, you know what? Kind of locks this knight down. Ah, who cares? We're just gonna frap Chino the bishop. We're not gonna think about it too much. Um, <laughs> Two fifty CC chess is great. Are they inherited or just because you keep being a nerd, spending all your time in front of a PC? Oh, sorry. Uh, lol, seeing as we're, I missed this. Uh, seeing as we're talking about disabilities, anyone else have physical disabilities like me? Um, I do not have physical disabilities. Um, so I, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what your flavor of physical disability is, um, but chat, chat can chat can respond. Um, are they inherited or just because you keep being a nerd spending all your time in front of a PC? What a <laughs> dreamer. Damn, coming at it. Not inherited, but had since birth, so probably not PC related. Um, you, you, you weren't a core gamer out the womb. Um, look at this casual over here. Doesn't even have PC related disabilities. Um, <laughs> uh, let's not go down that rabbit hole um, too far. Uh, yes, because one zero for queens is good. Yes, but reaching a queen in your territory is easy and taking it on b8 is hard. I disagree. Um, actually, if you're talking about capturing the queen when it's on your side of the board, then you can't. Um, hold on. Uh, two defenders here now. Takes, takes, we feel okay about. Um, this... What, what does this mean? How's the position changed? This is weird. Um, what's what's the idea here? Okay, one thing that jumps out at me is if I take here, then suddenly I pave the way for a travel onto this undefended pawn. Um, so what can we do about that? Uh, we could just ignore it, and then if captures, then we take back with the bishop. Uh, we could get our bishop active here, capture this queen, or sorry, um, kick this queen, uh, and you know, and sort of like ask a few questions of of our opponents um, out out of position. Uh, actually, I like this. I like this. Why do I like this? If I do this here, and then. Something wonky happens, like with if I do this. Uh, oh, actually, hold on, hold on. Let, let me think about this real quick. No, yeah, we're gonna kick the queen. Uh, kick the queen. If something like a pawn push happens, then we can pull this bishop back here, uh, and then we'll be free to make this trade. Alternatively, what we could do is pull this bishop here, and then if push here, we take this knight uh, and. If he takes back, uh, then this pawn is no longer here, and that's potentially like a vulnerability that we can collapse on. We can get our queen out here. I don't know. Let's just do this. Let's just kick the queen. Uh, let's just kick the queen. We'll see. Um, oh, you know what? I, I actually immediately upon doing this, I realized that I fucked up because he takes this knight with check. So I have to take back, and then he gets a free bishop. So that was really stupid. Uh, it's just funny. Uh, it's it's funny that I didn't even like think about that, and also that he didn't notice that. Um, so that was really bad. Uh, but 
he didn't notice. So every, everyone, no, we don't have to talk about this. This is fine. Um, this is fine. Uh, let's see. Um, yes, because once you're trans, oh yeah. Um, if he, if you're saying capturing the queen in my territory, uh, Enigma is easier than capturing it in his territory. If it's in my territory, then when I capture it, that queen has already captured my queen. So I'm not ahead in queens anymore. So be up the queens. I would have to capture, um, I would have to capture, let's get, let's get our queen over here. I like this situation here. Um, feels pretty good for us. Um, Yeah, so if if we're taking the queen when it's on our side of the board, it's already taken our piece, so we don't go up a piece. Um, all right, cool. Uh, what's the easiest way to... Let's see here. We've got piece loaded up onto here. We've got... I don't know. Let's, let's just castle. Why not? Let's just castle. Maybe, like, push this pawn up or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, yeah, Narik pointed out the turn it's in your territory, your queen's already gone. Uh, okay, okay. I love it when the knights are like that. I'm myopic, does that count? Um, remind us what myopic means, <laughs> poison, uh, because I'm not sure that I know. Um... Is there a way that I can take advantage of this? This checks the king in the past. If this bishop takes here, then we win immediately. So this pawn has to take, which frees up the diagonal. But I'm not sure that there's a way that we can capitalize on that. Uh, right? Here, pawn takes. Just because this is now a singly defended pawn. Uh, takes probably isn't like a great way that we can get I guess maybe maybe we kick that knight I almost just let myself get Tchaikovsky uh, no, I didn't. That's not how Tchaikovsky's work. Uh, that's an inverse Tchaikovsky. Sorry. I just noticed that this pawn that I was like, oh, what's this queen looking at? It's looking at this pawn. This pawn once upon a time was defended only by my king. Um, but it doesn't matter if he takes there. He, I don't think that he can convert off of that, right? Uh, like, where, where's this, where's this queen go? You can tell that that the rust is real. Um, yeah, queen goes here. I take. He can't check again, but there is this queen move here that's kind of like annoying. Uh, I don't know that I have to worry about that. Do I? Let's think. What are, what are, what are, do I have to worry about this? Take. You just push this pawn and it's fine, right? Push this pawn and then push this, or pull this bishop back. Or like, this knight up or this queen up, I guess. Uh, like, that should be fine, right? Well, okay, I, I need this queen to defend that pawn, but... Zero. I can probably close up this diagonal, right? Probably don't have to worry about it, right? Uh... Hmm. 
What if here, here, and then takes here? Is that anything? Boom, boom, here, and then threaten mate? Then what, he pushes this pawn and then he's fine? But, oh, he can't push this pawn because then I get this knight, or sorry, this rook. Maybe, I don't know. This also prevents him from traveling. Does it matter? Sorry, I'm like fixated on this. This is what, Ru I haven't played 5D chess in like, <laughs> since last stream. Um, so I don't really know. Uh, this travel is not worth doing because after takes, 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 he takes back. Uh, also, that's just not anything. Um, I was thinking of like a travel to, uh, right? that's, that's like not a thing. Um, I guess this threatens mate. Whoa, wait. Hold on, is this a thing? If I take here and he takes, then I take here, it checks him 2D, and threatens mate. Is there a way he can get out of that? If it checks him, he can't block, so his only legal move is to do this. And then we win? Is that true? Takes here, threatens mate. If takes, then takes with check. And then mate, right? Uh... Seems a little crazy. I, I think this might takes take with check win. If not takes, then what? Whatever. You you can win like probably eight different ways, right? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Um, let's catch up in the chat. Uh, once in classical, I had horses on, uh, that's a banned word. Thanks. Uh, nice try Enigma. I have screws and rods in my spine. If that counts, I don't think that counts. Does it count? Uh, what about knight takes F3? Um, Narik is right. Narik has said, please no spoilers in response to Enigma's suggestion. Uh, please no spoilers. <laughs> um, it's, it, Put, put a big ol' spoiler tag next to, I mean, this is an unrated game, so it's not the end of the world, but please, please, please do not recommend a move in the chat. I mean, this is only move unless I want to travel. Uh, this is probably pretty strong, huh? Or is it? No, I because if it was the king side, then this would mean that I win the game. But it's not the king side. Uh, anyway, let's just take here. Who cares? Um, yeah, only suggest a move if it is already... If you either put a massive spoiler warning on it, um, or once that move is no longer applicable to the position. Please, please, please. Um, it's Enigma's first day, so it's all good. But yeah. I feel like Semet often talks himself out of super free pieces. You guys talking about this knight here? The knight was probably free as fuck. You're probably right. Um, I, I do that all the time. Dude, I go too deep. Um, I, I go way too deep down the rabbit hole. No, I, I, famous, I do that constantly. That is definitely an issue for me. <laughs> um, Samet is giving handicaps too generous. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what we'll say. Um, that's what we'll say has happened. I can give, I just win on this turn here, right? Because I can provide a bunch of checks. This is a check. This is a check. 
Does that get me there? No, this check and this check and then here he can still respond. So I need another check. Uh, what I need to do is... I can block here and it's fine. And then... If he does this, then I can still block because it's not uh, in the past. I guess it's actually kind of annoying. Hold on. Do I want to do this? Now? To block the triagonal? Probably, right? Because I've got checks to deliver anyway. We just need to live and then we win here. If we can give a check on this board. Uh, so... Let's just do this. Because he can't check me, uh, except for here, but then I just, like, block with the knight or whatever. Um, something like that. Okay, fine. All right. Uh, it's easy to talk yourself into a free piece. It takes a pro to talk yourself out of one. <laughs> yeah. Some, something like that, yeah. Uh, you can use a spoiler format. Just announce it's a spoiler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you'd have to, like, sack something and then trade queens. My advice to Semet is to not even think at all the next time you see a free piece, free piece, just take it. Is that... I mean, I've been burnt by that. <laughs> like, that feels like bad advice. Um, I don't know. Oh, short-sighted. Oh, okay. Yeah, does that count? I guess probably not. Well, I guess if you're, like... I don't know, because, like, requiring various degrees of glasses doesn't count as, like, a physical disability, really. Um, so, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if that counts. Um, oh, now we can't check with that piece. Now we can check with that piece. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Um, here, we'll just check on board. Uh, and then here, we'll just check here. And then we'll win the game. So, it's not a big deal. Uh, for example, okay, and then Los gave an example of a spoiler, uh, spoiler, 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 now a bunch of spoilers. <laughs> Did I say the band word? God damn it. I'm upset. <laughs> Oh, I did say the band word. I talked about how I haven't played this game in a while, and I said the name of the game. <sighs> All right. By the way, he's been looking at travels. Uh, blah. Has he said blah yet? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether or not I have. Okay, we win. GG. We got there. Okay. Nice. Check, check. Boom. That was a really cute move, no? The, the queen move? Uh, I saw it at the very last second. I was just like... <laughs> I, I was just considering how... Like, whether I can... I, I was lamenting the fact that I couldn't travel in a way that I could... Um, could reach this king. You know, like, here. Like, if I had a queen here and I could travel to this board, then that would be really nice. And then I looked at ways in which I could capitalize on like collapsing on this pawn, and then I just sort of saw it. But um, maybe um, maybe chat saw it before I did. I don't know. GG though. GG to Sonoy. Um...